Hey everyone, it's Terry Price, and in today's tutorial, we will learn how to load and display an image using OpenCV. Then we'll also explore how to extract spatial dimensions from our images, such as, you know, the height, width, and the number of channels. So if you don't already have OpenCV installed in your computer, I've released a tutorial where I talked about mistakes I made installing OpenCV in the past, including tips on how I could have avoided them. So after you've downloaded the library OpenCV and installed all its prerequisites, we will then validate if our environment has been set up properly by first reading an image from the folder, extracting the spatial dimensions, displaying the loaded image to a screen, and then finally saving the displayed image. So without further ado, let's get started. I recommend first that you create a new project. You could give it a name, learn open CV and, you know, set up your Python interpreter so that we're going to use the interpreter that we created in the previous tutorial. So which is open CV over here. So you just click create and just create a script called open CV load image. So first we're going to import CV2, our computer vision library, and then we're just going to specify the path for the image. And in this tutorial, we're going to be using an image that I found on the internet, which is the floppy disk, the JPEG. You're just going to specify the path to that image, floppy disk. And next we're going to read that image over here. So what we've done over here is that we told OpenCV, okay, OpenCV, go and find this image, floppy disk.jpg, read it, and store it in this variable called image over here. So now in order to visualize the image that we've loaded, we just need to type cv2.mshow, specify the window name, which is image, and the image that we want to display. So once you run it, okay, it's already executed. However, if you want to see the GUI, that was created, all you needed to do is just to add this line over here. So once you execute it now, okay, and you can see it over here. And what this line over here, cvt.wiki does is, it instructs OpenCV to wait until a key is pressed on the keyboard before you close the window. So I'm just gonna press a key on the keyboard, and there you go. All right, so now in order to extract the spatial dimensions from our image, such as the height and width, over here is the starting point of our image, which is at the coordinate zero zero. So as we keep scrolling down, you can see that the Y value over here, just pay attention. you can see the value just keeps increasing. And over here, you can see that the X value just keeps increasing. And what this tells us is that the X axis is the width of our image and the Y axis is the height of our image. So you can see that the Y axis goes all the way to like 400 and the X axis goes all the way to like around close to 600. So let's say if you want to get that value now, we're just going to print out image dot shape. That's how we access the value. So you can see that the height is 400 and the width is 600 and three over here just means the color of channels. So we can like, you know, extract that information out height, width and color of channels equals to image dot shape. We can just print out the value. So we've got the height and the value over there, H and pixels. Yeah, I just need to put the F command over there. And same thing goes for the width pixels. And finally, the number of channels. Let's see, and once we print that out, you can see over here on our command line that that's the information that we're looking for. Finally, I'm going to show you how to save an image and in order to save an image to your local disk, all you need to type in is just cv2.mwrite. You give it a file name, such so like output.jpg and the image that you want to save. And you should also be aware that it's the same image that we've loaded over here. However, OpenCV will just save it using a different name, which is output.jpg. So once I execute this now, 
you notice that there is no file called output.jpg. So as soon as I press a key on my keyboard, then that file has been created. So most of the times when you instruct OpenCV to go, you know, load an image, sometimes OpenC won't be able to find it and it will show some kind of error. So I'm just going to show you an example. So you can see that it's a non-type error. And why is that? Because this variable image is actually of type non. So I'm just going to run that image and you print that out. So you're like, it's none, you know, you can not access like, you know, the shape of the image. And if you're building like, you know, applications that you want to deploy on a server or somewhere, it's good to handle all these kind of errors. So for example, let's create a menu function like that just loads the image. It takes in one parameter, which is the file name. So we're just going to like, let's say load the image cv 2emre the file name. And you could also check like if file name, you know, then kind of return. Then we, we could also check and we could check if the image is none, then kind of like return none or something else. If we're, if we're successful, if we successfully, you know, loaded the image, then, you know, just kind of return the image. So you don't need the if, just like return the image. All right. So I'm just going to comment this part out. And as well as this part all the way over here. So let's say we want to load the image. We're going to store it in our variable image. If it was successful, if it was successfully loaded, so we're going to specify the path to the image and we're going to check, you know, if image is none, then we could just say, <laughs> do nothing, you know, else if it's not none, then just like kind of display the image to us on the screen as well save it i'm just gonna delete this part you have to leave it doesn't matter so once i run it, it says do nothing because we actually specify that an incorrect file name and it's very good to handle all these errors so for example if we specify the correct file name see that we can actually see our image and we've got this new file which is generated by OpenCV. So, all right so that's it for this tutorial and if you've enjoyed this tutorial up until now be sure to give an assistance to like the video subscribe if you haven't already and turn on all notifications so you get an update on when next i release a new tutorial until then see ya